In this tutorial, I'll show you how to ban in subtitles to video using Handbrake. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, this is an updated video to a video I did a couple of years ago. And the reason is because Handbrake kind of changed how you can uh, import subtitles to the video by simply making the button or the tab to import subtitles to the video a little bit hidden. That's why I'm doing this video uh, because I'm getting a couple of questions where there is the import subtitle icon or tab available now let me just open up handbrake i'm actually not sure why they decided to do that now i'm using the latest version handbrake 1.6.1 let's go back and then uh, i already have a video and a couple of subtitles that i'd like to ban i'm going to ban the english uh, subtitle and i'll just drag and drop uh, the video right here now once i do uh you need to just go through the basics of setting up uh, the dimensions of your video just make sure they kind of correspond to what you have so dimensions the source dimensions you have 1920 by 1080 display size 1920 by 1080 uh, let's see i don't think there's anything that has been changed uh, right here uh, everything looks good uh, let's go to uh, the video now here is where you may need to kind of adjust uh, the quality uh, if there's uh, a, a constant frame rate that you're targeting, then that is something that you can uh, work with here. Uh, but as for quality, you have a couple of options. We've got the constant quality. Uh, let's say this is at 22. If you decide to go with the placebo quality, this is a high quality video, but the size is uh, uh, quite big. If you decide to go with lower quality, then obviously the size is small, but the quality is lower. So let's go back with 22. Uh, what they've said it as. But if you have a bitrate that you're targeting, you can select this and then input the bitrate you're targeting and then give it like a 2% encoding or turbo fast pass. It really depends. I'll go with constant quality. Now, next up is the audio. You can change this depending on the bitrate you're targeting, but I'll leave it as it is. Uh, and of importance now is subtitles. Now, to ban in subtitles to the video uh, in Handbrake uh, nowadays, uh, previously you had the option to import subtitle tab easily visible right now it's hidden under tracks you need to click on tracks import subtitle and once i do that i'll select the subtitle i want to burn into the video the english subtitle i'll click on it and then i'll click on open and once i do that uh you can see the source and the other issue you have with uh, handbrake right here is you cannot actually see even the name or a particular subtitle it's uh, really frustrating I wish they moved everything else to the side here and then just leave us with some real estate or if you actually hover over the subtitle you're able to see the extra details now from here we have the English the uh, encoding and then you need to check this particular button uh, that is the burning option click on it so that this particular subtitle can be burned in to the video now that's all you need to do and if you're satisfied with your selections that is your settings for your video and for your subtitle here then click on start and code now you may need to click on browse to save the video where you want it to be i won't mind to go to the videos folder on my laptop so i'll just click on start and code and once i do uh, it's going to give it a one pass and because this is not a very uh, big video per se it's only going to take like a couple of seconds to be done now I wish the folks at Handbrake can bring back the import subtitle tab somewhere here. Next up, uh, hopefully we are able to kind of uh, see what subtitle we are working with and probably to add some more uh, fanciness to this, maybe we can select our own font size because they kind of just uh, uh, give you the font that they want you to use. Uh, number two, the font size that they think works really well for this. I wish that was also possible. Uh, and unless you work with advanced substation alpha subtitles, uh, then you may not be able to kind of influence that uh, uh, in here. Now, it's done burning in our subtitles to the video. Let's do a quick preview. It's in the videos folder. Just double click and I'll pause. And before I begin, you can already see that the subtitle is burned in to the video. If I right click subtitle, there is no subtitle track right there. This is permanently banned in to the video. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to add text behind a person or move it. So it kind of looks good uh, and something that uh, I'd really use. Uh, I love the way that uh, Handbrake handles 
like uh, the text here, it gives it some sort of boldness and kind of a, a, a dark outline in the background. And you can actually go to, uh, I believe it should be activity log here to kind of see, uh, let's say, I believe it should be somewhere here to see what font they've actually used. Yeah, they've used, uh, they've actually kind of converted. What happens with Handbrake is they kind of convert your SRT subtitle to a .ass or an advanced substation alpha subtitle. And then they kind of, I'm not sure if they use the 400 zero aerial MT or the sans serif 700 uh, bold, but uh, there's some elements of like this one here. Uh, but I would, I would really like to know if somebody knows what specific one they use that is between the 400 and 700 to kind of let me know but i'm assuming it's a 700 because i've been trying to recreate the same kind of look in subtitle edit uh, that is when i create assa styles now that is how you can ban in subtitles to a video in handbrake i hope this tutorial is of value to you thanks for watching